Gelato versus Granddaddy Purple, breaking the Indica Sativa myth. Gelato, the modern hybrid. Standard Gelato, sometimes called Larry Bird in early circles, emerged in California as a flagship strain for the modern cannabis era. It was bred by crossing Sunset Sherbet with Thin Mint Girl Scout cookies, combining dessert-like flavor with a complex terpene and cannabinoid backbone. From the start, Gelato embodied the West Coast shift away from single-note land races toward hybrids designed for layered effects, flavor, and cultural cachet. It quickly became a dispensary favorite, not only for its striking purple-green buds and sweet aroma, but for the versatile high that defied easy categorization. Chemically, Gelato is THC dominant, typically testing between 20 and 25% THC. Its terpene spread is anchored by caryophylline, limonene, and myrcene, with secondary notes of humulene and linalool. The caryophylline foundation gives gelato a grounding, body-relaxing undertone, while limonene lifts mood and adds a burst of brightness. Myrcene is present in moderate amounts, offering balance and physical ease without tipping into sedation. Humulene contributes an earthy counterpoint to the sweetness, and linalool adds subtle floral calm that rounds the experience. For the consumer, gelato is remembered as both cerebral and relaxing, functional for social interaction, creativity, or calm focus. The high often starts with an uplifted clarity, then settles into a relaxed but not heavy state, making it versatile for both day and night. This adaptability is part of its cultural role. Gelato became the strain that blurred expectations, showing that high THC could coexist with balance, and that hybrid was more than a category. It was a new standard. Granddaddy Purple, GDP, rose to prominence in the early 2000s as the face of purple weed, cementing its place as the archetypal nighttime indica. Bred by Ken Estes from Purple Urkel and Big Bud, GDP carried visual appeal, vibrant purple hues and oversized buds, alongside its reputation as a heavy end-of-day strain. In dispensary menus, GDP became synonymous with sedation, relaxation, and sleep, shaping consumer expectations for what an indica should deliver. GDP is also THC dominant, typically ranging from 17 to 23% THC. Its terpene spread is consistently built around myrcene, caryophylline, limonene, and humulene. Myrcene is usually dominant, accounting for its reputation as a body-heavy, sleep-promoting strain. Caryophylline provides the familiar physical relief and grounding effect, while limonene brightens the experience, preventing GDP from collapsing into full sedation. Humulene adds an earthy, herbal undertone, reinforcing its depth and helping shape its signature aroma. The consumer experience of GDP begins with a wash of body relaxation, often described as melting tension and easing stress. In higher doses, it can become deeply sedative, aligning with its nighttime branding. But in moderate use, GDP often preserves clarity and calm, making it more about easing into comfort than shutting down entirely. This nuance is often lost in marketing, which pushes GDP as a blunt force sedative when its chemistry shows a more layered story, a strain with body depth, but not devoid of uplift. Where gelato and GDP collapse the contrast, dispensary narratives often position gelato and granddaddy purple as opposites. Gelato the balanced, social hybrid, GDP the heavy, sedative indica. Yet, side by side, their chemistry reveals overlap that undermines this story. Both strains are THC dominant with minimal CBD, which means their effects are driven primarily by terpene balance rather than cannabinoid diversity. Both share caryophylline and limonene as key drivers, which explains why each produces a baseline of body grounding with emotional uplift. For consumers, this overlap shows up as a shared balance of calm and clarity, regardless of how they're marketed. Myrcene is the main difference in degree, not kind. In GDP, myrcene frequently dominates, pushing the high toward physical heaviness. In gelato, myrcene is present, but not overwhelming producing body ease without full sedation. Yet, both strains use myrcene to soften their THC effects, showing that they sit on the same chemical spectrum 
rather than opposing ends. The supporting terpenes add character, but not polarity. Gelato's linalool adds a floral calm not often noted in GDP, while GDP's humulene leans earthier. But both strains converge on the same core trio of cariophyllin, limonene, and myrcene, which explains why consumers often report GDP as calmer than expected rather than narcotic, and gelato as more grounding than its hybrid hype suggests. The narrative of sharp contrast falls apart under the weight of shared chemistry. The takeaway, beyond labels, gelato and granddaddy purple, sold as contrasts, demonstrate why the Indica Sativa hybrid framework is outdated. Their overlapping terpene profiles show that consumer experience is not defined by leaf shape or legacy label, but by chemical composition and balance. For consumers, this means expectations should shift away from daytime hybrid versus nighttime indica and toward an understanding of what terpenes actually do. Cariophylline grounds, limonene lifts, myrcene softens. These interactions explain experience far better than broad categories ever could. For bud tenders, the lesson is clear. Credibility depends on moving beyond outdated scripts. Rather than repeating that gelato is a balanced hybrid or GDP is a sleepy indica, professionals can build trust by explaining terpene balance and encouraging consumers to match chemistry to their goals. For the industry, leaning into terpene literacy can create more transparent products and marketing. If strains like gelato and GDP, marketed for decades as opposites, are in fact variations of the same chemical theme, then the binary is not just inaccurate, but misleading. Education that reflects nuance builds trust, creates better experiences, and honors the plant's complexity. This content is for educational purposes only. It does not promote cannabis use in jurisdictions where it is illegal. Always follow local laws. Nothing here should be taken as medical advice. For health concerns, consult a licensed professional. Remember, cannabis isn't about up or down. It's about balance, chemistry, and context. Gelato and GDP prove that the future of cannabis education isn't in legacy labels, but in understanding terpenes and cannabinoids. If this episode helps you rethink the way cannabis is explained, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and share it with others who deserve better than outdated categories.